the people. We are the people. The motherfucking people. The motherfucking people. Who are fighting for justice. Fighting for justice. And black liberation. And black liberation. And brown liberation. And brown liberation. And queer liberation. And queer liberation. And women's liberation. And women's liberation. And trans liberation. Trans liberation. Workers liberation. Workers liberation. Hey, so black trans lives matter. We have a place. We have a place in this earth, in this city, in every damn city. Why? Because our lives matter. Every year I do a day of remembrance for the trans women that have been murdered all over the world, especially New York City. And the list has gotten way bigger. This year, since Trump got in office, we have lost so many trans women. But that's not our fault. We should be able to live peaceful and free. Our lives matter. My life matters. I got up this morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, like I do every Saturday, to serve communities. Not one community, not a trans community, but all communities. I give out food every Saturday. That means as much as people say my life don't matter, it matters enough for me to help every fucking body. Oh, it matter. These are policies that are out here killing our black and brown trans people. So we say fuck that. And we say fuck you, de Blasio. We say no to reforming wretches. We're saying yes to shutting workers the fuck down. Can we say, can we say shut down workers? Latina ass has known all along. He denies he's been racist as hell since day one. Yeah. And racism, Woo! and that racism is, isn't only a, exists in the South, it also exists within supposedly liberal New York City as well. Yeah. And just because slavery and Jim Crow may have been abolished does not mean that the systematic institutionalized racism in our society simply hasn't taken another form. While reform definitely is necessary, we will not achieve full liberation until we address the fact that we are living in a state that has been built upon a white supremacy. The system is not broken. It was always meant to be this way. Wake up, white America. We are living in a white supremacist nation. And as a result, black people are under attack. And neither Trump nor de Blasio are doing shit to address this. As a matter of fact, their policies are based off the belief that black lives do not matter. White America is targeting us, black and brown folks, using racist, broken window policing and mass incarceration to lock us up in greater numbers than white people for committing the same crimes, and often for no crime at all. Why are these pigs arresting people for simply not being able to afford public transportation? Being poor should not be a crime, nor should being black or brown. That's exactly what broken window policing does. It turns us marginalized folks into criminals. Oh, and by the way, I am sick of shitty white leftists who say that Marxism should only focus primarily and specifically on class. That's right. And that focusing on identity policy is a distraction from true Marxism. If your socialism does not put oppressed people at the forefront, then your socialism is useless. Right. And black and brown people will be among those leading the revolution for our liberation and for the liberation of all those oppressed as a result of capitalism. Fight for socialism, comrades, and fuck the NYPD. Fix up for truth. Fix up for justice. Fix up for truth. Fix up for justice. Fix up for truth. Fix up for justice. Thank you. Ashe.